Temperatures soared into the high 60s last week, but a weekend snowstorm dashed any hopes of that warm spring weather continuing. NCC News reporter Kathleen O'Hare took to the streets today to see what Syracuse students had to say about the unusual April weather. Kathleen. Thanks, Clayton. It is cold and windy out here. It's definitely not weather you would expect for April. And while it may be disappointing for some to have last week's warm weather disappear, students we talked to say they're not surprised. Ice and snow. That's what those in Syracuse woke up to yesterday morning. An April snowstorm might be a shock to some, but SU students we spoke to have taken it in stride. Um, I'm not really surprised. Um, I'm a tour guide and I give tours every, almost every day and I say, Almost every time, it's always going to snow the first week in April, and here we are, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm a freshman, so I've, like, never experienced Syracuse weather before, and we had such a mild winter. I guess I deserved some of this. Uh, I've been living in Syracuse for 19 years now, so it doesn't really surprise me. Uh, still depressing nonetheless, but, yeah, not a big shock. Especially for tried-and-true Syracuse residents, it's just like any other April. Yeah, almost every single year. I mean, you'll get it sometime or another. But while they may not be surprised to have wintry weather this late in the year, it doesn't mean walking around campus was any easier. I actually slipped on my walk to campus, so maybe we need a little bit better of the, the sidewalk crew. We're walking up the stairs, you have to like grab the railing, which sucks because my hands are cold and I don't have gloves. And those driving had a tough time as well. I took off my snow tires two weeks ago because I thought we were done for, so I couldn't drive as fast as I wanted to. I stayed in the middle lane, the speed limit, so a little later than usual. Now, hopefully this cold weather isn't here to stay. NCC Sarah Eckhart will have your full forecast later in the show. Until then, reporting live from Waverly Avenue, Kathleen O'Hare, NCC News.